Thank you so much for joining us on this Wednesday. We are live to the KGNS app. We're live to the website for KGNS. We're live to the Facebook page this morning. We're also live to our YouTube channel. If you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so, uh, KGNS-TV. Lots of great content on our digital platforms on both the website and our YouTube channel as well. So I encourage you to check it out. We are going to talk about a vending machine that will soon be available in central Laredo. Here to talk about that. She's been making the rounds with all the media. She's been on all the shows already, minus this one, but she's back. Alexa Huerta, she's the uh, program director for Project PAW over at Pillar. Alexa, how are you? Welcome back. Thank you so much. I'm doing well. <laughs> so before we talk about the vending machine, this uh, amazing uh, life-saving vending machine, tell me about Project PAW. Yes, so Project PAW is a harm reduction program. And within this program, we provide overdose education, prevention services such as STD testing, drug testing to include fentanyl. And an individual who's part of this program gets free harm reduction supplies, Narcan, bleach kits, safe sex kits, you name it. They'll have easy accessible access to these items. But, but it, right now they have to be a part of the program and then you provide it to them in person or how do you deliver them? So them? we do outreach, okay. right? So we'll go to like the downtown area, you know, to Jarvis Plaza, we'll, we'll have supplies there. If individuals say, oh, I want specifically a bleach kit, we'll follow up with them later on, whether it's outreach, going to their homes, them coming to Pillar. We're trying to remove all barriers that these individuals can get these items. That's what we do. Now, do you find this uh, as part of the process of trying to help them to get over the these, uh, mm -hmm. some of these behaviors, Alexa? So the idea with this program or like the, the mantra behind this program is that we're not, our goal isn't to have them stop doing drugs or okay. to kind of convince them to go into treatment. Although, yes, that is part of the continuum, right, of health care. Mm -hmm. We're considered as like the middle man, right? So we'll be there when you're deciding not, maybe you want to continue doing drugs, that's fine, we won't judge you. We just make sure that whenever you do decide to go into treatment, if you do decide, you'll be safe right yeah. you'll be still you, you'll be alive pretty much so that's pretty much where we stand right now uh, the the fentanyl is is a big problem because mm -hmm. uh some folks don't know that they're getting fentanyl mm -hmm. with uh, what they're taking alexa is this uh, a key to really trying to uh, solve some of these uh, overdose cases that we're getting these deaths? I think this is the first step. Yeah. I think us having that harm reduction mindset does is, is towards the right step of how to, you know, quote unquote, stop these overdoses from happening. At the end of the day, we still have a lot of work to do um, when it comes to, you know, passing drug laws or de decriminalizing, right? When it comes to if you are using drugs that you're not aware, you want to get help, having those Instead of taking them to jail, get them the mental health resources they need, yeah. right? That's still a lot of work that needs to be done. But right now with this harm reduction program, we're giving them the supplies that if they are going to be using, and if they don't know their, their drug is laced with fentanyl, they have the option to get drug tested. They could see, oh, actually, I just do cocaine, but my drug test came out positive for fentanyl. Yeah. So that way they had a, were more, they're more aware of what they're being exposed to. So let's talk specifically about the vending machine. This is an interesting concept. Uh, how did it come about? So this isn't, it's new for Laredo. I think it's new for Texas, but this started back in New York and Las Vegas. They started with the Narcan vending machines. And in those high populated areas, I believe the one in New York is in Times Square. People have, were getting more, ac or getting quicker access to these life-saving medication. And so with SAMHSA, our federal funding government, we were able to bring that to Texas, but to bring that to Laredo and see how can we provide that to our community. It's a very innovative, very different, but it goes back that it's just trying new things. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, we've, we've been having the drug problems for the past 60, 100 years, and nothing's really changed. Yeah. So it's really trying to grab on a new perspective, a new way about it. And I think this vending machine is the start of it. Realizing that there's a problem and we can do something to mm -hmm. try to start helping the situation. Exactly. Um, and, and, and addressing that need is what this seems to be 
what it's all about, Alexa, but then mm -hmm. taking it to another level with this vending machine. Mm -hmm. So when, how do you, how do you get this funded or how do you get one? How did we get one? Yeah. So Laredo is very, very, very lucky. Um, so SAMHSA grant, uh, funded three cities in Texas, Laredo being one of them. And so with these um, federal funds, we've been able to, one, have this program and fund this vending machine and the supplies are in it, which is why this, this vending machine is free to anyone who is part of Project PAW. Now, um, how is it going to work? Okay, so if a client is either using drugs, using substances, or at risk of using substances because mom, dad, sister, brother are using, they qualify for the program, right? It could be opioid, it could be heroin i mean cocaine marijuana you name the drug and they qualify for the program we enroll them just demographic quick questions and then they'll get a unique access code right with this code they'll have access to the vending machine vending machine 24 7. but not only that they'll also get free std testing and free drug testing for them and to be part of the program does it require do you have to pay to be part of the program Alexa? no completely no. free so they need to go to a pillar or call pillar and say, mm -hmm. look, um, I want to be part of this program. Maybe a relative is a drug user and they want to be able to have access to the Narcan. Correct. Yeah. So we do have clients who that like mothers who are not using, but they have a son or a daughter that they are. So they want to have Narcan just so they could be ready or have bleach kits or just have be more aware of what is going on. Yeah. Alexa Huerta is joining us. She is the program coordinator for Project PAW at pillar and they're going to unveil uh, well we've seen uh, we've seen the vending machine mm -hmm. but it's going to be available starting uh, this friday i know you yeah. have a big um uh, ribbon cutting tomorrow alexa so where will this be located so the vending machine is located at laredo fire station three which is on 2420 san bernardo also in front of garden street i think it's 901 garden street Okay. So what part of town is that? More or less? Central. It's near Martin High School and where the old civic center used to be. Now, why that location? Well, we do know that the seven eight zero four zero zip code is the second highest over um, with the rate of overdose deaths. Seven eight zero four one being the first one, and so we really want to target the San Bernardo area, and especially that's near a school. You know, really increase that prevention. Sorry, from high school, right? and having people be more aware of it. We're very grateful for the Laredo Fire Department to be partnering with us because we do know that we they have the opioid response team and they're one of the front, they're the front runners when yeah. it comes to responding to overdose deaths. So having them, you know, house the vending machine, I think is very special and does show the, the progression that Laredo is going. That's the front line. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and really, if you have a, a, a serious situation where someone is in need of the Narcan, mm -hmm. perhaps the person that's bringing them they're bringing them to the fire department. Yeah, they're calling 911. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's a plus, and 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 hopefully we can stop this trend of overdose deaths in Laredo. Mm -hmm. It's a it's such a unique opportunity and a unique project, Alexa. And what so what is all what all is going to be in the machine exactly? So we have a couple of kits to so start with wound care kits. Um, we have bleach kits, hygiene kits. Well, two types of hygiene kits. One with shampoo and one with just a toothbrush and toothpaste. And then we also have feminine products. Um, we're going to have Narcan, safe smoke kits, and safe sex kits. Okay. And so they'll, they'll get a unique code, and they just mm -hmm. go punch in that code at the machine. Yeah. And they, it's like you're picking out which diet coke you want. You just, wow. Mm -hmm. And so is there a limit to how many people you can have in Project Palm? No. It's unlimited. We could enroll as many people as we want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and how's, so how long has the program been in existence? Alexa? Since last year. So right now, total, we have a active, we have 126 wow. active clients. Wow. Okay. So the big ribbon cutting ceremony tomorrow will be there at the fire station number three? Yes. Yes. And we are hoping that the community does come by to, to watch it, to understand and to embrace it because it is something new and we want not we want people to be curious about it and be interested and not to be not to be afraid of it. Yeah. Especially when something so sensitive as overdose and substance use, we know it could be a taboo topic for a lot of us. So we really want to open that door for people to ask questions and be curious about it. Now will it be out in plain view, in plain sight, or yes. is it gonna be inside the fire department? Out in plain view. If you pass by seven another, you could see it. Okay. So mm -hmm. easily accessible and you don't have to actually go into the fire department and say, Hey, this is going on. Correct. You need to. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's there available for those. Mm -hmm. Any uh, any uh, hopes of getting more of these vending machines? Yes, we are hoping that the, if the community does embrace it and we do see that it's in high use, 
then we could go back to our SAMSA to the federal government and you know advocate for more funding to bring in more vending machines. And you'll be monitoring that machine. You'll be checking it on a daily basis. Yeah. So it's very high tech. So we do get a live um, view oh. from our computer, like from a from a portal. So we're able to see what's what's being taken out more of. You know what's needed. All of that. So you'll you'll be able to see wow they're using a lot of Narcan uh, mm -hmm. to go restock or whatever. Yeah, exactly. And you don't need a prescription for Narcan. No. So as long as if they're in need and they have that code, they can. Mm -hmm. do it. Correct. Wow. Alexa, what is that program director for Project Pod? Pillar, Alexa, anything else you want to mention? If anyone does have any questions or concerns, so give us a call. What is the number to Pillar? Is it the one on the website? Here? Yes. It's 956-723-7457. So the website, by the way, if you want to check out Pillar, is pillarstrong.org. And the phone number is in the right-hand corner of your screen, but I'm going to zoom in and then uh, kind of zoom in on the number if I can so that you have it there. There you go. So 723-7457. Uh, they've got a, cross, a crisis hotline as well. You can click on that. Um, but if you have any questions about Project Pod, this life-saving vending machine, or you want to speak to Alexa, go ahead and give them a call there at Pillar. Alexa, again, anything else you want to mention? No, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. God bless you. Thanks for all you're doing. Thank you. All right. Uh, I will see you at 12 on KJNS News at noon. Thank you very much for watching. Have a blessed rest of your day.